Hello, welcome back to the Four Mile Circus. We're about to play some games from the Ren Pi Jam. Ren Pi Jam? Ren Pi. I'm going to go with Ren Pi. Uh, it's been going since September the 15th. There are 15 entries. And uh, here are some of them. As you can see, we go from Bread Dating Simulator, of course, to uh, the chess engine Ren Pi, which would be interesting. Uh, and I picked a few, and we're going to have a go through them. All right, let's crack on. First up is going to be Idle Star, Hamara's Pumpkin. It is by Tamaru. And uh, it is about a girl who uh, wants to make pumpkins on Halloween. Okay, and here we go with Idle Star. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you all of these uh, visual novels, just a little taster to, to wet your whistles, as it were. Let's start. Hemari, it's almost Halloween. Almost is. Aren't you excited? We can get free candies. I've never celebrated it before. What? Every Halloween I'm busy on something, and when I'm done it's already over. Like the art style, it's very good. I don't even have a Halloween costume. If you look closely, this is my idol costume. I don't... It, it, is Amari a, a, a... What's an idol? Is that like X Factor? Amari, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's it. I'll get an accessory. It looks vaguely Halloweenish, doesn't it? It looks vaguely Halloweenish. Come and play this Halloween to see it. Okay. Since it's not Halloween yet, we should get our pumpkins ready. Of course we should. Oh, 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 oh. Drag two potions into the pot and then tap on mix. What, really? I can drag them? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, well, this is something I haven't seen in a Rempy novel before. Moving elements around the screen, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some poison. That looks like boogers in a jar. I'm not sure what that is. We've got a tooth of something, relatively large. Purple stuff. All purple stuff. Purple stuff with a bone in. Uh huh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the organic. So I'm gonna go with the purple stuff with the bone. Oh, it disappears in. Himari. We're gonna go with the tooth. And um, it is Halloween, so let's put the poison in. Two potions. Two potions. God, I can't count. Okay, I'm gonna take the bone. I'm gonna put the poison in. You know. There you go, is that what we've made? We've just made that pumpkin with that potion. Yeah? Okay. It looks happy, I like it. Say what? Okay, let's try again. Hamara's pumpkin. So, we're just making pumpkins. Okay, perhaps I will be able to show you more of it. It's almost Halloween. Aren't you excited we can get free? I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Right, well, let's, let's try um, some of that stuff and some of that stuff. Let's mix that. Oh, oh. It looks happy. I like it. He's got like a little fang tooth, that one. Looks a bit more devilish, that one. Okay, okay, hey. Okay. Himari. Every other bit I'm busy on something. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, let's go with the purple stuff. Purple stuff with the bow? Okay. Purple stuff with the bow. Purple stuff in a tube. Ooh! This is scary. We've got, we've got a good one there. A lot more pumpkin ish. A lot more Halloween ish. Okay. Wait a minute. What's the collection? Yeah. Okay, so we're going for. Let's try the green stuff with the purple one. Let's see what we got. It looks almost relieved to be a pumpkin. Don't think it looks too normal. It does. It looks like, hey, I'm a pumpkin. We're just hanging out. It's Halloween. Anyway, let's try another one. Let's try another one. We tried the poison before. We didn't. We haven't tried the tooth and the bone, have we? Let's go with that one. Oh yeah, that again. That looks quite devilish. Okay, so quite a simple little um, game at the moment. I guess it's it's going to grow. You've got a ghosted out its Halloween button here. Oh, uh, but uh, I very much I very much like it. It's very finished, and I definitely like the draggable elements. I don't think I've done that before in, in a RMP game. Um, um, try one of those. Add one of those. See if we can find one more variation. Oh. Looks happily angry. 
happily angry. Is that is that something you can be? Happy I'm um, angry? Mm, well, that's what your face looks like if you are. Okay. All right, well, that's cool. That was Idle Star. Himara's Pumpkin. And uh, I like that. It's fun. And I definitely like the Dragon Ball elements. I didn't even know that was possible. You're taking me to a whole new realm. So, uh, there you go. Okay, next up is Phobias. This is by Astral Autumn Games. Uh, Arachnophobia. Ophidinophobia. Fear of heights. A fear of germs. Ophidinophobia. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up afterwards. All very common fears. Right, so it's about an art student who gets in a little too deep. Let's go. Okay, we're, we are in. Hit the start button. Tuesday. Hi down there. What are you doing? That would be my alarm. I quickly grabbed my phone and switched off before my roommate, still wrapped in dreamland over, over on her end, can wake up. It is, after all, about six in the morning. Early riser. Nobody I know wants to be woken up at six in the morning. I lie in bed for a little longer, trying to tell if my roommate was given a lovely awakening by my phone alarm. Wouldn't they be going, Let's get us in! She turned that off! At least, it's not that super annoying one. Oh, did I miss something then? Can you back one? No. Something flashed up then. I don't hear much noise from over on her end. Slowly, slowly. No throwing the covers off the bed. Phew. I'm up. And I didn't even fall out of, off the bed this time. Have you got a drinking problem? Good job. What's your name? My name is Four Mile. Hi. Wow, good job, Four Mile. You could have done a lot worse. Hmm, I should really brush my teeth. I can taste my foul breath on my tongue, and I haven't even opened my mouth yet today. I was having a bad morning. After I grab my toothpaste and nearly have a heart attack after dropping it on the floor and fumble around for my slippers while I try not to punt it across the room like some sort of misshapen football and open the closet door before cringing as the thing slides open like a train door at a subway as noisily as possible and clacking the clothing hangers together as quietly as possible while looking for a t-shirt. When in short... I've managed to get some rumply clothes from the closet and grab my toothbrush and toothpaste and the washcloth and my hairbrush. I sneak over to the door like a ninja. Imagine I didn't shout that last part, mentally. I managed to sneak over to the bathroom. Oh my God, how did this spider end up in here? How did this spider exist in the first place? It's so big. Okay, okay, calm down. It's not that big a deal. It's just a spider. Just a really big, ugly, hairy, possibly poisonous, scary spider. Okay, uh, I've got a first choice here. Try to get ready for the day. Wait until someone can go out in and kill it. For we don't want to kill the spider. She's doing its thing, being big, ugly, and poisonous. She's doing its thing. Try to get ready for the day. Okay, 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 it's just a really, really big spider. I've handled spiders at home. I can handle one the size of me. <laughs> Four mile, you don't scare me. Am I the spider? I tell that to the spider, I'm not the spider. All right. It looks at me. Maybe I should get ready and just ignore the spider. I use the loo very quickly. The spider is looking at me, what with its, all its eyes. Glistening eyes looking at you. It's like it's judging me. Stand up. Here's the mirror. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, change your clothes. Ignore the spider. It's just spinning a web in its little corner. Well, big corner, considering the size. Holy heck, I'm not sure how I haven't sprinted out of here screaming yet. After what feels like eternity, I'm done with my morning routine and look presentable. Four mile. That's me. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Spider, or Mrs., or uh, if it speaks back, then I'll start running. M spider. Spider says nothing. Just going, what on earth is that human doing? 
It's time to leave. I leave the bathroom. I've wasted about ten minutes dealing with that weird spider. It's still stupidly early. No one should be up. I should kill time. I guess I could work on my animation homework. Oh, but I also have that econ <laughs> economics class I need to work on. And I guess I've got summer reading. Wow, 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 wow. Um, boy, I'm interested in the reading. Let's do the animation homework. Well, animation does take way longer than most people would expect. Like, way longer. Should I be saying it in a voice like this? Like, way, way longer? Hmm. I have to get my laptop to do stuff, though. And my drawing tablet. And my drawing pen. Time to go grab my stuff. I head back into my room, doing my best to ease the door shut. I not burst out any ear-shattering squeaks of the hinges. Okay. Because, uh... That would be bad. I grab my laptop, my drawing tablet, and several dozen things that I need to animate and sneak back out to the living room. And after some time working away on my laptop and making clicking noises that I'm amazed couldn't possibly be louder, I check the time. Oh, it's time for breakfast. I could just stop at Moonbucks. It's close to the room. But then the dining hall is free and it's closer to class. And I don't actually have to interact with people. Why do I keep getting those little blipverts of, of other stuff? Look, when I click. No. Huh? Huh? No, 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 watch, watch. It's, there's some swearing in there. What should I do? Go to Moonbucks. Yeah, Frappuccino sounds cool. Since I'm responsible, lovely human being, and since I'm a responsible, lovely human being, and I'm already dressed, all I need to do is grab what I need for class and then my wallet. Which is just where I left it. I want to see what those things are. It seems like... What's it saying? And when is your... Oh, well. Are we being subliminally messaged? And then grab my keys. Can't forget those. Those are really important. And then I'm slipping out of the door and into the hallway. It's quiet. Not very surprising considering it's 7.10 in the morning. Nobody in the hall. I ride down the elevator, giving the security lady at the desk the weirdest half-smile. <laughs> That's me doing a weird half-smile. And wave that I've given all day to and wave that I've given all day today, and then dart out the door. Even though she's buried her head in the magazine and isn't even looking at me. But you're so kooky. So yeah, something is going on there. So that every time you do you, you click it, you're getting some extra little bit of text which you can't read in time which is annoying but it's like there's something else talking in my background there's another voice in my head it's, that's what's that saying I want to read it geez now she's going to think you're weird what do you have to be why do you have to be so cringy okay so that's like my subconscious talking to me. Oh yeah, everything's been all funky lately. I woke up one morning and, uh, well, everything started looking off, I guess. Sometimes people like today, sometimes other stuff. Well, whatever. My goal's not to stare at stuff. Let's have a look what it says. And draw their attention. Oh, there, there, get off. No, 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 no. Back, but we to care. Ah, oh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, have I lost my way? I've lost my point. Okay. Well, whatever. My goal's not to stare at stuff. Yeah. Uh, you insignificant little meat sack. So... Though you can't quite see it, there's another voice that is being written here in the background. And it's obviously, it's not a nice voice. Go to Moonbucks. And yep, yeah, there's the Moonbucks, conveniently about 10 feet away. Okay, it's more like 20. Whatever, at least it's not like 7 miles from the dorms. Entering the Moonbucks is stepping into, it's like stepping into a freezer. Cold air breezing in over me and cooling the air. Immediately outside the door, sh before I shut it and trap... Okay, yeah, yeah, I read that really badly. 
Cold air breezing in over me and cooling the air immediately outside the door before I shut it and trap it from exiting. Looks like the weirdness hasn't ended yet, huh? I approach the woman at the counter with the... With the snake head? One customer. Is that a cat head in front of me? What's the little voice say? Don't stare at her. Rude. How rude can you possibly be? Okay, okay, I can do this. I just need to ask for a, a venti frappuccino with hazelnut syrup and no whipped cream, a hot chocolate, or a caramel macchiato. Just an espresso. I do like a macchiato. How about the caramel, though? It's all a bit sweet. Oh, oh. there's a little voice blurp then. Ah, oh, it's annoying. I want to see it. I want to see what the voice is saying. I could use something sweet and the caffeine boost and the fact that it's a macchiato and I could use the entire coffee really just ask for that, just ask for that, just ask for that oh it's my turn, she's having a hard time the barista looks at me with soulless glassy eyes it's a snake head? <laughs> me uh, hi, hi can I get a uh, let's flub the order might I get a, a, a tall cinnamon dolce latte please I I just ordered the wrong thing and I would open my mouth to correct her but she's already writing it down on the cup ah never mind just leave it drinks are drinks well and an exception has occurred all right god damn drinks are drinks no no okay okay well uh, it, there's, I think that's the end of the road for me but um, I like it I just I want to know what's going on in the background I want that to develop I want to see it I want to see what's going on in phobias I don't mind that it's rough that's cool but I'd also like some more visual side of the visual novel but it's cool I like it good idea all right let's crack on okay next up is Shadownet the series demo this is by Shadowing the series, and uh, it is a uh, visual novel based on following a team of Shadowrunners mercenaries hired to conduct illegal operations by powerful entities. Wow, okay, right. Shadowing the series, wow, this looks uh, very involved. Let's, uh, let's just start up. We got music. A dusty Seattle room bar. <laughs> A dusty Seattle runner bar by the name of Mustangs. It is mostly empty inside, except for the buzzing of drones. Pretty cool, eh? It looks like, uh, something like Star Wars. Runa enters the bar looking around. His eyes catch a fellow with blue skin and forearms sitting in the booth. Okay, wow, we're, wow, we are in a very distant future. 2069? What's happened? It's only 50 years away. On the blue man's shoulder sits a mechanical cat, a drone, Misha. Hi, Misha. Cool, cool. Runa, morning, MB. Bye, cat. The Nataki Megabyte runs his slew of tests in AR as he waves at Runa. Nataki Megabyte. Well, there he is. Yeah, cool. Look at, his, look at that. Look at his arms. And his little robot cat. Morning, Rune. Busy day ahead. Runa takes a seat at the booth across from Megabyte, his heavy combat boots thudding down on the table in his booth. I have work. Megabyte looks up from his morning soy calf. The corporate gig? Yeah, how did you know? Do you like my Runa voice? Megabyte. Weird one, wasn't it? Kirsten, my fixer, tells me it's on the level but I did send out one of my friends to investigate. Turn up anything. <laughs> <laughs> Megabyte, not a thing. At least it means Jay's doing his job, right? Who's Jay? Runa, what makes you say that? Megabyte, well, Johnson's job is to remain hidden. And anonymous, right, okay. And this one is a ghost as far as I can tell. Runa heads over and sits across from Bite as a woman in colourful garb enters. Everyone shift across. Hello you. 
Talos, good morning boys. What brings us to this part of town this early? The boys look at each other. Megabyte, hey Talos, work, same as you I imagine. Meow, says the cat. Talos, indeed strange job, you find anything on the, M on the job MB? Talos takes a seat with the two boys, patting Misha's head. Misha purrs as Talos orders a soy cat for herself via an R-A-R-O. Talos, so what do you all know? Ruiner, just that it's a cop job. I was told they would be stealing something. I'm guessing these are characters based on the, on an actual cartoon or something, or a series of something, so maybe my voice isn't quite right for, for Ruiner. Maybe I should stop doing that. I'd be annoying people. Megabyte, yeah, stealing secrets I got told. I also got told I'd be supporting a team inside. So the plot's thick already, isn't it, in this? Talos, as did I, and I was told I would be providing a getaway if we needed it. Whoa, 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 shift across like someone else has come along. Gautier enters the bar, breathing in the room, looking at the crew, chatting in the booth. Hey, 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 I like him, got a little... Whoa, they're all very different art styles, aren't they? Different uh, characters. Gautier. Je suis arrivé de vous revoir. Gautier, good to see you again. I murdered, my, murdered the French then. Gautier. C'est un plaisir partage, Miss Telos. I might just skip to the English. Pleasure to see you again, Miss Telos. Did you all get the same call, same job? Did you all get the same calls, the same job? Megabyte, we're corporate gig. Talos, breaking and entering. It's the crew, I feel like this is the crew. Runa, theft. Gautier smiles as he sits and orders himself a drink. Misha eyeing him up suspiciously. Megabyte, gestures Misha over to Gautier. Gautier approaches cautiously and pats Misha's head. That's the one, hello darling. Misha nuzzles Gautier's hand as he pats her head purring gently. Megabyte, she is a little cautious around new people, but she will warm up to you eventually. Talos and I didn't find anything on the job before you ask. Megabyte looks a little disheartened at that thought. Gautier, I think I got told the same thing you did. Theft, that they might need some magical backup. Backup. Runa, he likes that, he likes doing that with his arm, doesn't he? Runa straightens up and concentrates for a moment. Wow, oh wow, it's magic. Magic begins flaring up as red flames begin coiling around his arms. Really? Wow, okay. Nice sound effect. Runa, they already have it. Gautier recoils a little by the display. Doesn't like magic, doesn't like magic. Gautier, oh well, of course, I didn't mean to imply. Just that, that is what I was told. Megabyte looks over the newcomer and smiles, giving Runa a slight sideways glance. Megabyte, go to here, right? Oh, how rude of me. Yes, it is a pleasure. I look forward to working with you all today. <laughs> Gautier gives a smile around the table. Tala smiles back as he does, Megabyte extending one of his hands. Megabyte. I'm Megabyte, but you can call me MB. Bite, whatever you like. Megabyte extends his right top arm to Gautier, who takes his hand. The two shake hands. Megabyte, so this is our crew. We're putting together a crew. It's like the A team. Tell us, you and Runa is the grump. You know, and Runa is the grumpy one. Okay, tell us, you know, and Runa is the grumpy one. Megabyte gestures over to Talos and Runa. Runa mutters something under his breath. French people. Gautier. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh. A watch alarm sounds on Talos' PAN. She beams, clapping her hands together. What's she got? Is that a personal organiser? It's got that thing there. Talos. Well, that's nearly meat time. And I suppose I'm your driver for today. Talos is the driver. She's the driver. And why don't I drive us to the meet? It was downtown, right? Megabyte, that's right. I've got my bike and I will follow. Okay. 
Gautier. That would be lovely, Miss Talos. Thank you kindly. And they're off, they're off. Ronan nods his head and makes a grunting sound of acceptance. Ugh. Doesn't say much, does he? And he's always got this he's always got that helmet on. What's wrong with him? They're all gone, Runa. Who are you talking to? Thanks. The four get to their feet and leave the bar, headed for the rusty bulldog. Talos, enjoy the moment and chat. Go to it, make acquaintance with Runa and bite. Runa, keep an eye out for danger. And go back and compile some sprites. We're going to go with Runa. We're on the job now, we're going to keep an eye out for danger. Runa watches on lookout into the dark Redmond night as rain splatters on the window. Soon the dank of the barrens is replaced with the gaudy glamour of the downtown districts. The crew drives off into the rainy Seattle night. Ah, oh, cool. Nice little teaser demo, that. that built up a hell of a lot of storyline within that short amount of time. I like the crew. I like the different characters. Definitely like the art style. So, um, there you go. That's Shadow Net. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, next up is... My Dear Player, My Dear God. This is by Sergio. Uh, it's a weird story where a young boy fights for defining himself with very few weapons, a sword he doesn't know how to use, and his dreams. Okay. Intriguing. This is the first second of the first minute of the first hour of the first day in my quest. This is the first step of the first yard of the first walk of the first way in my quest. Okay. It's the start then, is that what we're saying? I am just a step away from home and my head is already full of questions and uncertainty. I'm not the kind of hero you might be thinking. Maybe I am not your kind of hero. I am not fearless. I can't ride a horse. I can't swing a sword. I know no spells or how magic works. I don't know anything about potions or hexes. I hate to say this, but my questions and fears rely on you. My dear player, my dear God, guess what we want. We want to make those choices for you. My life matters. Did you know that? Of course we do. It is not enough if you just try and take me further and further and, and fail in the end. Will you take care of me? Or will you just think of me as another fictional role you can play? Well, we are the playthings of the gods. You are just too used to being in someone else's skin, my dear player. It's just so easy for you to leave your identity behind and behave like someone you are not. It's usually alcohol. That, 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 that's, that's what happens to me. I don't know if your intentions are good. I don't want to sound too rude, but I have to be honest. I'm here to interact with you. That is the main reason of my existence. Why are you here, my dear player, my dear God? Are you here to interact with me? I'm here because I have no other choice, no choice. Maybe you've come to have some fun. Maybe, maybe you just have some time to spare, both true. And some would have stumbled upon this game I can't speak. You just came here and took me out of my home to look for adventure. I am happy to say this, I have faith in you after all. I know that my dear player is not a selfish being. You aren't thinking just about your own amusement. Are you? Sort of. Sort of, is that, is that bad? Have you ever thought about how you relate to the characters in a game? How does it feel to act like a god? How does it feel to be immortal in my timeline? Is this the first time you're reading this? Have you already experienced my death? How will you manage my past, my present, my future, my dear player? So sort of stepping outside of games and looking at it from from sort of the character's position. Sort of like Wreck-It Ralph. Has anyone seen Wreck-It Ralph? Please take care of me. Will you ever talk about my quest to others? Let's get on with some quests then, okay? Let's do it, my dear player. This is my game and this is my quest. My dear God, this is your game and this is your quest. We're off. And now the quest has begun. Alrighty. You are here to guide me through this adventure. We are in this... This is... We are together in this. This is so exciting. I wanted to be a hero since I was a little kid. 
I dreamt of myself slaying dragons, finding treasures, defeating evil creatures. Travelling to distant and unknown lands, having my own castle, conquering other countries. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but if I don't try, I'll never know. Good point, and I don't believe I could fight a dragon right now. Now that might be... That might be learning to sort of run before you can walk. I don't even know if I could hunt a deer. Let's find one. Let's hunt. You know, I've been thinking about this moment for so long. Now that the time has arrived, everything seems like a dream. Please remember my prayers, my dear player, my dear God. Home is so far away now. I miss my bed, the feeling of being with my family, the fireplace. I miss my dog scratching at the door. <laughs> I just try not to think about all those things too much. Heroes have no weaknesses. I can't let my emotions take over. Dog. Dog. Will you just stop it? Yes, get on there. Go to sleep. Right now this is just about this mountain and me. I saw on a map that there's an old castle. Okay, we're down to the nitty gritty. Old castle, I like it. At the opposite end, it's been abandoned for centuries. I'm sure it would be an interesting place for, to visit. Imagine that the tormented ghost of an ancient king might, might, might appear. We, 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 we just want some treasure. Don't want tormented ghost, king ghosts. That would be a blast. Maybe there's a hidden treasure with magic relics. Aha, that's more like it. Or a sword imbued with incredible power. Just some shekels. Just a few gold shekels will do. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That would definitely be something bards would sing about all around the country. It would be. Well, but well, before that I have a long way to go, and quite a dangerous way to go. You might not know anything about my world, but mountain roads are especially perilous after the sunset. Well, let's stop chatting and let's get cracking. I've really never had a bad experience by myself, but that is what everybody told me in my village, in that village, so it must be true. By the way, everyone was so weird in the last village. I tried to talk to everyone I met in the streets, but they just repeated the same two or three lines all the time. Really? Mountain roads are especially perilous after the sunset. Be careful with the monsters in the mountains, they are like human flesh. That hasn't put us off. I like shorts, they are comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Why would perfect strangers lie to me? Of course there was that guy who repeated the same pun over and over. So this is like stepping outside, like you know, if you go play an RPG game and you go speak to the characters, they just keep saying the same thing. This is what the hero is sort of saying. You can, you can just say the same thing over and over. Mountains aren't just funny. They are hill areas. What a waste of time. Okay, let's move on. Clippity-clop. Yeah, what? Uh, blackness. Blackness. What? I've been climbing up this mountain for six hours. I am tired. I need some rest. Should I rest somewhere by the road, or should I look for a safer place to sleep? Um, I think safer place to sleep, bearing in mind what everyone has just told us. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. I will try to investigate this area a little bit. Perhaps there's some kind of cave around here where I can get some rest. Just, just climb a tree. Just climb a tree and go sleep in the boughs. Don't go in caves. If I find some wood, I can make a small fire to keep my bones warm and keep animals away from me and draw monsters towards you. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Do you not, have you not watched Bear Grylls? Um, I'd climb a tree. I wouldn't like to get eaten by animals or monsters or, or anything. To be honest, I'm not sure monsters do exist. I think someone invented those stories to keep children away from the mountain. When I was a kid, my mother used to tell me those kind of stories where a mischievous kid runs into the forest and never comes back. Sometimes I feel that my parents have been overprotecting me all these years. My family is great, they have been so good to me. But hey, this is my adventure, I have to live life, I need to live life like some people never will. What is that? There's a campfire over there, see that's why you shouldn't have a campfire. I better be silent, you can't trust strangers in these lands. What shall I do? Let's get closer. Maybe there's some stealing to be done. <laughs> I will get close to the fire. I'll try to see who made it. Yes, yeah, better to know. I will stalk from that bush. Silently. Let's do some stalking. Oh. 
Who's that? Is that a song? No. Oh. Stranger, I wish I was there standing by you. La 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 la. Nobody has ever made me feel that way. I don't want I should stop that. I don't mind if I look a fool. I don't mind what the people what the people I don't mind what others Oh damn, how should this continue? So we've got a bard there singing a song up. I'm freaking bad at writing lyrics. Hero Hey I scare the life out I think I know that guy. He was at the village. He was the guy who repeated the mountain punt over and over. Perhaps he was practicing a line. I think I will approach him. No, don't. I'm the guards. I decide that. <coughs> Hero, I don't mind what the people say. Yes, that's amazing. I don't mind what the people say. Woot! What's that? <laughs> it scared the life out of him then. Hey, it's me. Do you remember? Wait, what? Yes, I saw you in the village. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to come to the mountains. Hey, I'm just looking for adventure. I have a quest. That's why we talked in the village. Yes, I told you my line. That funny one. It's hilarious, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's very funny. In a not funny way. It isn't just funny. It's hilarious. You get it, right? Yes, we got it. We understood it. Yes, yes. Oh, well, please, please, come here. Make yourself comfortable and warm. It's going to start freezing. There's nothing like sharing a song by a fire and there's such a beautiful night like this one. It's very nice to have some company. Rule one of questing. Don't go to sleep around strangers. Climb the tree. Climb the tree. Get your sword out. Thanks a lot. I'm tired and you know the fire keeps the animals away. Of course, and the monsters. How do we know he isn't a monster? The blonde-haired, green-eyed monster. Yep, and the monsters, I suppose. Is he kidding me? Let me introduce myself. My name is Kat and, well, and that's almost everything you need to know about me. I spend my days as a stand-up comedian in the village and my nights here singing alone. I like writing songs, but as you've heard, I'm not too good at it. I enjoy playing music anyways and it's just, it's very nice to have an audience. I thanks to you, my God and I are very grateful. Wait, what are you talking about? You mean the player and you? Um, uh, yes. But how? Um, mountains aren't just funny, they are hilarious. Wait, what? Mountains aren't just funny, they are hilarious. Oh, I don't know what is happening. Mountains aren't just funny, they are hilarious. Okay, it's like he realised that I'm here, the god, and I'm watching them, these characters in the game interact. And uh, he's gone back to type, he's gone back to just saying the same things over and over. Mountains aren't just funny, they are hilarious. Cat, are you okay? Hey, would you look at me please? Cat? Psst! It's like in Toy Story where they all talk to each other but when the people come in they all lie still. Oh dear, I guess it's too late. Don't you know I'm an NPC? Yeah, see I got it, I got it right. Whoa, what is that? NPC stands for non-player character. I'm supposed to tell my line every time I'm on camera. That's my job, I've got a contract. But, but you were talking to me so naturally before. Yes, but I didn't notice you were a main character. I thought you were another NPC hanging out. My friend, I'm here with my dear player, my dear god. Whoa, I thought you were climbing up this mountain alone. My god is with me wherever I go. I'm just looking for adventure. This is part of my quest. My god will take care of me. I'm always talking with him when I'm alone. I wouldn't be here without him. I'm a hero because of him. So you are a hero, aren't you? Yes, I am. Have you ever, have you rescued a prince or a princess? Yeah, that's a technicality. Okay, that's a technicality. Let's not talk about that sort of thing. We climbed a mountain. No, I haven't. Have you slayed a dragon? Okay, I think we were a bit quick with this hero label, weren't we? No, I haven't. Have you ever met a monster? No, I haven't yet. So why'd you say you were a hero? You have got me there, to be honest. I don't know really, I have a sword. I'm the main character in this story, so I must be a hero. You know, my dear player, my dear god controls me, so I am the hero. That's just the way things are. <laughs> Not necessarily. You say you work as a stand-up comedian, but all you do is repeat the same pun. Um, okay, I'll buy that. That's a bit cutting. 
Well, you know players play lots of games nowadays, don't you? Some of them like being called gamers, isn't that funny? Yes, my, di my friend, my, my dear player, my dear god is used to playing other roles. He's such an expert. <coughs> I wouldn't go as far as that. He knows everything that's been, everything that is, and everything that will be. Oh, 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 I think I rolled my mouse there. He is an expert. Perhaps he has read this conversation over and over. He can revisit this time whenever he wants. My God has awesome power. My God will take care of me. I'm sure that he will also take care of you because you are helping me tonight. You are good. We don't know that. Stop, 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 says Cap. That is utter nonsense. How do you know all that? As an NPC, I just repeat my script whenever I'm on camera and some other character approaches me and some other character approaches me. That is all I'm supposed to do. That's what they taught me at school. I have a diploma in NPC. That's pretty cool. I just didn't notice I was on camera right now. That's why I was just being myself. So this is totally strange. I'm enjoying it. Damn, I was too much into my music and you caught me by surprise. I've never been controlled by anyone from anywhere else, by from any unknown dimension. We've talked about the God enough. Let's end the conversation and get some rest. Well, Kat, I'm sure you're a good person and that my dear player, my dear God, will take care of you even if you don't have faith. Listen, I'm too tired. I think I should sleep for a while. I have to continue my quest tomorrow. Very well, my friend. I'm sorry if my comments were too rude. I'm just not that kind of spiritual person. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Good night. Don't kill me. <laughs> good night. Okay, I think I should uh, end this one here. So that is my dear player, my dear God. Interesting concept to sort of stepping outside of the game and talking to the player itself. Uh, I enjoyed that. I'd like to see more of it. Final game up is Demi Dato, which is a monster dating game show. Like your demi humans, cute or scary, nice or not so nice, girls or guys, or anything in between. Either way, Demi Dato is for you. It is by Time Patches. And let's have a go. Here we go. We are in. Let's hit the new button. Are we live? We're live. Okay, it's the producer. Boy, Demi Dato fans, do we have a special treat for you today? <laughs> Here he is, you all know him, suave, sassy and only slightly undead, it's Demi Dado's very own Paul T. Geist, the hosting ghost who loves his job the most. Doesn't look very happy. Geist, would you get that camera out of my face please? Producer, but it's a special live stream just for fans. Producer, just for you guys, we'll get to hang out with the host of the show we all know and love before we go live on air. Geist here is going to chat with you all while he reviews the audition tapes of our new monsters, those lovely, handsome and even maybe a little bit quirky creatures you'll get to meet in the show just around the corner. Geist, isn't it more like a dead stream? I'm not exactly alive. He's a bit down on himself, isn't he? Geist, isn't this awesome? Aren't you excited to hang out with all your fans? Geist, well I wouldn't even need to do this if our interns had written me the intro packets for our new cast members like I told them to a week ago. It's not very upbeat. Come on, guys, pick it up. Geist, I didn't think it was too much to ask since it's, you know, their job. Producer, you heard it, guys. You know that when he rolls his eyes like that, it means he's excited. <laughs> Producer, now there's more great new content for the fans of the show, right? Guys, sure. I'm sure people would love to watch me watching stuff. Producer, actually, that's pretty popular on GoalTube these days. The trend is to... Geist, we go live in ten minutes, producer. Can I just get on with this, please? Haven't I suffered enough? Okay. Let's just get this over with. Okay, who to watch? Um, Arian, Mako, or Mino? Uh, Mino looks sort of fish-like or something. He's got, like, uh, like webbed ears. Obviously, cat-like. Arian... I mean, it looks like a guy. I'm going to go for Mako, the cat girl. Cat girl, yeah. Hello, Nya. 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 <laughs> Hello, Nya. Guys, she's so loud, I'd cover my ears if I had any. I'm Mako. I'm 19 years old. Nya. Well, technically, I'm 22 if we count my first life. <laughs> I like Mako. It looks like a sort of cat hybrid. That's right. Cats really do have nine lives. Nya. Nya. See? Yeah, sounds like a 1920s gangster. Why does she keep saying yeah? Is it like a vocal tick or something? 
I'm a huge fan of the show. Yeah. No, seriously, please make it stop. I've been watching Demi Dato since I was a kid, and I still, I still tune. I can't help seeing yeah at the end of the sentence, and I still tune in all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the host's sharp tongue and blunt personality. Yeah. Geist. What is it about me that attracts such loud and annoying fans? Ooh. Mako. Hehe, <laughs> I've never filmed an audition tape for a show before. Yeah. I'm a little nervous, so I hope I don't ramble on for too long. Geist, me too. Mako, here goes. Yeah, here are a few reasons you should pick me to be a contestant on the next season of Demi Dado. First, I would bring a positive attitude for the show. I like the puns. I'm super friendly. It's like blind date. I'm super friendly and I love to talk, so there would be never a dull moment. Yeah. You know, puns are kind of my area. I don't know if this show's big enough for the two of us. Mako, I really mean it. I love to talk. Yeah. I can see that, says Geist. There's never any awkward silence when I'm around. Yeah. All right, we get it. Also, I have just the right amount of quirkiness. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I've got to say it. Let me explain. You see, I like to cosplay, okay? What? That's right, I dress up and transform myself into amazing characters from movies, shows, and games for a living. Yeah. Don't those ears get in the way? I thought that would help, really. It's a job that takes me all around the world. Yeah. And I get to meet so many different demi humans. I have over 4 million followers on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram, Lynn. Yeah. What the heck is Instagram, Lynn? It must be that newfangled app or whatever the, the living kids are into these days. Maker, so I would totally help with the show's rating if, ratings if I was a contestant. Yeah, don't you think? Guys, I don't know if I do, actually. Mako. Yeah, let's see what's next on my notes. I need to tell you what I'm looking for in a partner. I think I'm pretty open-minded. Yeah, I just want someone that has similar interests and hobbies to me. That's pretty generic, says Geist. Above anything else, yeah, I just want someone that I can really connect with on a deeper level. Oh, oh, and if you need an extra person to be a contestant, I know the perfect person. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Jajan, this is my baby brother Tobo. Yeah, we're twins. I was going to say there's a likeness. I like his little bell as well. Mako, what time is this? What is this? Mako, what is it this time? Get it right. Mako, I'm making my audition tape for Demi Dato. Yeah, come on, you should make one too. Toma, what would I... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, yeah, we've got a low battery. My camera's battery is about to die. Okay, gotta finish, gotta finish, yeah. I love watching Demi Dato and how it brings lovers together. I also want to meet other interesting people and find my one true love. Yeah. And that's why I really, really want to be a contestant on the show. Yeah. So pick me, Mako. I know you won't rig. Uh, batteries died. She does done a little equipment check beforehand, Geist. Well, she sure has an interesting personality. Yeah, I should write that one down. Didn't you just steal that from her? Mr. Geist, this is your five minute call. Please report to stage door. Oh no, if I only had more time to watch all these fascinating videos. I'm so sad about this. Well, here we go. Hopefully Benji doesn't set the stage on fire this time. Producer, I hope so too. And that's it for our live stream, folks. Geist, thank ghost for that. One question. Is that a regular thing? The set being on fire? Uh, no. That's good. Please don't tell me you're from our insurance company. <laughs> Isn't it kind of incriminating that you'd ask me that? Guys, real funny. Who are you and why are you in my dressing room? More to the point. Why have you just appeared from my cupboard? I'm tonight's Demi Dado contestant. The new love's gonna love... Going to... The new love everyone's going to love. Or something, hopefully. They sent me from makeup over to the studio, but I got lost. Been hiding in the cupboard, haven't you? You've been watching us. Geist, I'm going to pretend that those aren't pajama pants and that you didn't just wander in here off the street. Come with me, kiddo. Looks like you need all the help you can get. And there you go. Demi Dato, the demo. 
obviously I've only had one of the characters, but there's there's three of them, and uh, I, I quite like that. I it was quite funny. I enjoyed all the transitions. <clears throat> I thought it was a cool game, so um, go try it out. And there you have it. Five of the submissions for the Rem Pie Jam. Uh, the uh, the submissions are open for another thirteen hours, so uh, there still might be some more to come in. And they really do range there. There's a quite a variety in what's going on. Um, well worth going to take a look. There will be a link in the game description below. So go and have a go. Go and play on some of these ones yourself. And uh, enjoy yourselves. All right, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button or even subscribe. All right, take care. Bye-bye.